watching this broadcast online. We want to say thank you for being with us this morning. And we pray that um, this service this morning will be a blessing to each of us. Hallelujah. God is good. He is a faithful God. Hallelujah. He, he leads and he directs his people. He will guide his people, right? Amen. So we're going to open up in prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, let's we open up in prayer in Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much. We thank you, Father, for, for who you are and for everything that you have done, continue to do in each of our lives and how you kept your people, how you protect your people and we thank you so much. We thank you, Father, that you bless your people this morning, Lord God, that you speak to each of our hearts. And Father, we thank you, Lord God, for your anointing, your presence is here in this place, Lord God. And Father, as Pastor Larry come and minister to us your word, Father, use him as your instrument and as your vessel, Lord God, and we have a reach of us, Lord God. You know what the circumstances and what your people are going through. And Father, we thank you, Lord God, that you bring forth your word. Because your word will not return void. And let your word will manifest in each of our lives and each of our hearts in the name of Jesus. And we thank you, Father, for the revelation of your word will be imparted into our spirit. And Father, we're here this morning to hear from heaven. Speak to us, Lord. And Father, we thank you in the mighty name of Jesus. Have your way, Holy Spirit, in this place. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, God bless you. And you may have a seat in the presence of the Lord. Amen. God is good. Hallelujah. God is good. You know, our confession as the people of God, and you may have a seat in the presence of the Lord. Our confession comes from our mouth every day and every morning, regardless of what it looks like. Because some things can be looks, you know, not very good. But we're not a people without the hope. Our hope is coming from the Lord. And we live not by the things what this world do, because we are living this earth, but we are not a people of this world. We are people of the kingdom of God. We belong to Jesus. Hallelujah. And this is the good news because his promises, what he promised us on his word, in his word, in the Bible, right? It belongs to us. It belongs to us. And this is why we're giving him a thank, thanks and, and glorified his name. Because he is the faithful God. He is the God that's beyond of what we can see in the natural. Because the just, you, a person of God, the, the one who has been born of the spirit of the most high God, the faith of God should be imparted into your heart, into your spirit. And you you and I can live by faith, not by what we see, what we hear, but the word of God it says. The fear should be no place in our lives and our hearts. Because the fear is the it's 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 bring the faith down. So you cannot be living by fear and by faith. We live by faith and not by by sight or by fear. We live by what? Faith, right? Not by sight. Sight is a what? Fear or circumstances or what is going on around us. Now, the scripture says, if any of you lack wisdom that you should ask of him, right? You ask God. Every, every day you go before the Lord and you say, Lord, okay, this is the situation. And Lord, what do you want me to do? Show me. Guide me. 
direct me. This is a time and this is the season and this is the time and this earth where you and I should live in consulting the Lord and all the time. You know, scripture says, pray without a ceasing. So pray is not just a prayer in the morning. It's not just a prayer in the afternoon or in the evening. Praying without a ceasing. Communication with with your heavenly Father constantly. Where you go, where you walk, who you even listen and, and preaching. Because see, some words, and there's so many wonderful people of God, and, and they God speak to them. But it's, uh, you know, what does God speak to you? Where God is directing you, what God has for you. Because what is for them, it's not what is for you. So see, this is why God, when God has placed you in some ministry, God wants to use this minister for you. So this is why it's so important to be led by the Spirit of God, who God assigned you in these last days, who God going to use to speak into your life. Because we need to all hear from heaven. See, we have the personal relationship with the heavenly Father, but we also as the church, we also have a cooperative relationship. When God speaks to the church, some things God speaks to you as the individually, but some things God speaks through the man of God to the church. And some of you are going to sit here to, today, and those who is watching this broadcast, you know, all of us, we have a different circumstances. And when you can hear one message from the minister, but you will receive differently because your needs is different. And you can receive the, the message and you just have to grab it and says, okay, Lord, I receive it and I will do it. See, the scripture says, if you are willing and obedient, that you will eat the good of the land. Sometimes you hear the message, well, just receive, walk by faith. Are you willing? Are you obedient in what God telling you to do? See, this is the way it has to be kicking in the personal <coughs> relationship. One thing is the message for the church when it's speaking to the congregation. What about your personal relationship? What God wants you to do personally. And this is when you are willing and you are obedient to what God says to you personally, then you will eat the good of the land. Before Pastor Larry come, I'm going to pray for you, those who is here tonight and uh, this morning. We're going to have a both services today in the morning, right now, and an evening service. I encourage you to come tonight also and watch this broadcast tonight. Through the day, God going to be speaking to each of us in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. So I'm going to be praying for you this, this morning, right now. That you will hear the voice of the Lord when God is going to speak for Pastor Larry as the corporate anointing. That you will receive the message as the personal message in Jesus' name. So, Heavenly Father, I lift unto you, Lord God. Every man, woman, child, those who is watching this broadcast this morning. I lift unto you, Lord God, your people. And Father, I pray in the name of Jesus that the... Eyes of the understanding, spiritual eyes of understanding will be enlightened in your people. That they will see and hear with the spiritual hearing, Lord God. That they will hear your voice. That they will hear the direction. That they will hear what you have them to do. Father, guide your people. Direct them. I proclaim and declare in the name of Jesus that no weapon against your people should prosper. And every plan of the Satan let be canceled and destroyed over their lives, over their destiny. I break the spirit of foolishness that they will not think more highly what they think about themselves, but they will be humble because you said in your word, humble yourself before mighty God. And Father, that you as a mighty God, that you will exalt the people, but you are required for us to be a humble. That's our choice. 
we choose to be a humble before you. That what not what we can do, but what you can do through us in the name of Jesus. And Father, I break every demonic assignment. I break every deception of the devil that try to turn your people away. And I break the deception. I break every false doctrines. I break every demonic assignment that come against their minds. Lies of the devil, I break it off in Jesus' name. I release the Spirit of God. I release the truth of God. I release the anointing of God. And Father, I ask you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, comfort your people, Lord God, and let them hear you, Lord God. I proclaim and declare shalom, peace, and Father, I thank you for shalom, peace, 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 in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, God bless you. Pastor Larry is here. He's going to minister to us in Jesus' name. Amen. assignment that have come against their minds, their will, their emotions. Father, I release the anointed now to lift burdens and destroy yokes. For your yoke is easy and your burden is light. And Father, I thank you today, Father, that the people have ears to hear and a heart to receive what the Spirit of God is saying today. In the name of Jesus, let your kingdom come. Let your will be done. As it is in earth, so shall it be in heaven. As it is in heaven, so shall it be in earth. For we are your people and the sheep of your pastors. And Father, we give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. We can't do nothing without you. Father, we welcome you right now. Holy Spirit, you're invited in right now. We welcome you into this place. Yes, Lord. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for your presence. Hallelujah. Yes. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him, and heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. He is the King. He is the King of kings. He is the Lord of lords. His name is Jesus, 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 Jesus. Oh, he is the King. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him, heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. I will enter his gates with thanksgiving in my heart. I will enter his courts with praise. I will say this is the day 
that the Lord has made, and I will rejoice for He has made me glad. He has made me glad. He has made me glad. And I will rejoice for He has made me glad. He has made me glad. He has made me glad. And I will rejoice for He has made me glad. I will enter His gates with thanksgiving in my heart. I will enter His courts with praise. I will say this is the day that the Lord has made. And I will rejoice for He has made me glad. He has made me glad. He has made me glad. And I will rejoice for He has made me glad. He has made me glad. He has made me glad, and I will rejoice for He has made me glad. For this is the day. This is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. That the Lord has made. I will rejoice. I will rejoice and be glad in it. And be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made, and I will. And be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. In Him we live and move and have our being. In Him we live and move. Blessed be the rock of our salvation. The Lord live it, and blessed be the rock, and may the God of our salvation be exalted. God, we do worship you. We worship you. Yes. 
something about that name. Jesus, 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 there is something.
thank you for your word that's about to go forth in this place. God, I ask you that you would anoint every ear to hear. Prepare every heart to receive. Make my tongue as of a pen of a ready writer to write your word upon the heart and upon the mind of your people that they will know the truth and that the truth shall make them free. Father, we covenant with you to give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise in the glorious and mighty majestic name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. For you are worthy. You are worthy. And we give you all the honor, Lord. All the praises. Amen and amen. Welcome to New Life of Christ Jesus Church, where Jesus Christ is glorified. And I pray that the Lord will have a word for you today that will minister to your heart, that will cause you to be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. And so it's good when we can come together, when we can worship together, when we can enjoy the presence of the Lord together. Amen. God is with us. His word and his spirit, they comfort us. He hath prepared a table before us in the presence of what? Our enemies. Our enemies. Amen. He hath anointed us for such a time as this. So don't think it's strange and don't think that you're here by accident. God knows where he wants you to be because he knows what's going to Speak to your heart. And I believe that we're in the right place at the right time. Amen. Burdens is being lifted even now. By, while, while I'm talking right now, burdens is being lifted right now. Yokes is being destroyed. Amen. You, you, you've been battling situations and things in your mind. God said, I'm taking care of that right now. Hallelujah. Oh, he said, cast, cast it down. He said, don't entertain those thoughts anymore. Cast them down. Cast down every imagination, every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. Cast it down right now. God said, I'm in control. I'm in control. You see, your faith in God works by words. Yes. It don't work by saying, but I, 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 I heard it. Faith is released through words. We have to say what we want. We have to believe what we say. And we have to act upon it as it is so. Faith is the evidence of things hoped for. Something hopeful, evidence of things not seen. Amen. You don't see your situation that the enemy is doing to your mind, but you know in your mind that things are not right. That there is a lot of there's a lot of turmoil. And faith says, God. I declare that today I have the peace of mind. I have the I have peace in my mind. I declare peace over my mind. Amen. Why you want to, why you gotta do it like that? Because faith is connected to your words. Faith is connected to your words. If you're not speaking it, you're not having it. Because they work together as one. Amen. Amen. And that's why it's so important that we learn that we get this message that God has given us right now. The Bible tells us in the book of Matthew chapter 16. Let's go there. Because you, this is where we are. This is where we are. Matthew chapter 16. Amen. Y'all remember that, right? Yes. All right. Just make sure. Just make sure. And we'd like to thank God for our first time visitor today. Hopefully it won't be the last time. <laughs> Amen. So we, we appreciate you coming by. Amen. Matthew chapter 16. Oh, glory to God. I just hope that the system don't do what it's trying to do. Amen. Verse number 13 says,
Father, don't let the system shut down today. I see it starting to flicker. It says, and when Jesus entered to the coast of Caesar Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, Whom do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? And they said, Some say that thou art John the Baptist, some Elias, and others, Jeremiah, are one of the prophets. He said unto them, But whom say ye that I am? But whom say ye that I am? Glory to God. You see, now this is the question that you got to answer for yourself. Because you got to realize this. When you became a born again child of God, the very nature of God made his dwelling place in your heart. So that's why you have to understand if you're going to have the same results that the word <laughs> says then you got to understand you got to be able to release those words out of your mouth because a lot of you have what you've been saying. And this is why it's so important that we, that we understand he said upon this rock I will build my church. No, and no said, But who do men say that I am? See if you, don't, if you say well well, uh, they say that you are John the Baptist. They say you are uh, uh, Jeremiah, one of the prophets. But then when he comes to you personally and asks you, but who do you say that I am? See, this is the, this is the question that, 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 that resides in your heart that only you can answer. And you have to have an understanding of who he is in order to answer that question. When you were born in this world, you were born with the nature of sin. With a sin nature. Why? Because you were born of the seed of Adam. Not all of us, none of us was born without sin. But one. And that was Jesus. But the Bible says about one man sin, death into the world. So death by sin. So death passed upon all men for all have sin. So the way we're going to correct that is to come into the to come into uh, uh, come into the realization of who Christ is, and then not only come to the realization of who He is, but accept Him in our heart. That's why you got to know who He is, because if you don't know who He is, you're not you're going you gonna walk around for, for the rest of your life. Well, 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 they said that He was Jesus. He died for my sin, but you know what? I wasn't there, so I, I really can't say if that's true or not. You know? And then, because God said, except you believe in your heart, confess with your mouth, what you believe in your heart, is you, you're going to continue in the same way that you're going. But if you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, the Bible said, you shall be saved. You shall be saved. Amen? So, Jesus asked his disciples, who do men say that I am? John the Baptist, Jer or Jeremiah, one of the prophets, amen. But who do you say that I am? And Peter, the only one that came up with the, with the, the words that he wanted to hear. And they didn't come straight from his heart. They came straight from the Father's heart. They came straight from the Father's heart, and they entered into his heart. And he opened up his mouth, and he declared what was in his heart. Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. You see, people can discern the signs of the sky, and, and when, it's, when, the, when, the, when the sky is red, they say, it's going to be fair weather, and, but in the morning when the sky is red, it's going to be foul weather. But they cannot discern who Christ is. And this is the whole point of this message, to help us to understand who Christ is to us. Amen. Not just to the world, but to us. Because, see, we are in this world. But thank God that we have an advocate that lets us know 
that we are in this world, but we are not a part of this world. No. The Bible says in the book of Ephesians chapter 2, verse number 6, I think, verse number 6 or verse number 8, 1. Six, he said that we are seated in heavenly places where? In Christ Jesus. In Christ Jesus. And then it says in Ephesians chapter 1, verse number 23 said, far above all principalities and powers. So God has given us a position that if we could maintain it, we will not be affected by, we might go through some things, but it won't, it won't destroy us. Because we are in this world, we're not a part of the world, and the world cannot destroy something that, 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 that's connected to God unless, unless it's your time. If, if it's your time, it's just your time. But I like to think of it this way. He said, with long life, I will satisfy you and show you my salvation. Hallelujah. And, and that means my time is not yet. <laughs> oh my God, my time is not yet. Amen. So God wants us to understand the reason why he's asking us who do men say that I am? The reason God is asking us is because he wants us to be able to identify directly with him. Because his nature is in us. His spirit is in us. His presence is around us. His anointed working through us. And that's why, that's why you have to understand the power is related to your words of what is happening around you. You have set your atmosphere with your words. Jesus heard Peter say, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. Peter set the atmosphere around him just for a few minutes because later on you keep reading you find out that Peter begin to rebuke the Lord, saying, no, this can't be unto you. No, 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 be it far from you. And Jesus looked at Peter and said, get behind me, Satan. Mm -hmm. Because, true. see, he done switched that fast. That's true. You see, you got the, the Bible, wanna, the, the Bible tells to be steadfast, unmovable. No way. Unmovable. See, once you accept Christ, once you believe that Jesus is the Son of God, once you accept him, he wants you to learn of him. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for, for I am meek and lowly heart. You shall find what? Rest unto your soul, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. You see, God wants us to come to realization of who Christ is to us because, you see, we are going deeper into the last days, and you can't stop it. It's happening right before your very eyes. Things are changing Amen. The government is changing. The world is changing. And the people around you are changing. They're either changing to, 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 to draw closer to God or they're either changing falling farther away from God. And I was talking to this young man just the other day. And I, I, I was talking to this young man just the other day. And I was asking, you know, he was, he was riding with me. And I was talking to him. And, uh, and I said, uh, I said, uh, we, we got on the subject about the Word of God and everything. I can't go too long without talking about the Word of God. You know, I'm a pastor, and I can't go too long without talking about the Word of God. So we got on the subject, and uh, and I and, and uh, I said, how's your mom doing? She he said, well, she almost well, she almost died. Uh, they had to call their uh, ambulance to revive her. They had to shock her. And, uh, and I said, when did this happen? He said, just yesterday. That's what he said. And I said, oh, okay. Well, I hope she's all right. He said, yeah, she's okay. And I said, how's your father? He's, he said, she, he's doing good. And I said, how about you? I said, how are you doing? I said, uh, how are you doing? He said, I'm doing pretty good. I said, if you, if you, if, if you would die today, what would you spend eternity? He said, well, I think I'll, be, I'll go to heaven. I, uh, but I'm not sure because I, I don't know. I don't know. I said, well, you, you, I said, what do you mean you don't know? You told me you were a Christian. But you say you don't know. Okay. You see, without the without the understanding of who Christ is, a lot of people don't know because they don't know the reality of the Spirit of Christ in you. So therefore, they, a lot of people don't know. 
Amen. Amen. And so, and so I said, but uh, I said, but then you said, then you did you did you uh, confess that Jesus Christ is Lord? He said, yeah, but uh, I'm still I'm still questioning in my heart because uh, I wasn't there when it happened. I, I, I said, I said, what do you mean you wasn't there when it happened? You don't have to be there. When, God didn't tell you to have you had to go there and see what happened. God told you to believe it in your heart. And that what he said in the book of Romans, yes, chapter, chapter 10, verse number 9, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thine heart that God raised him from the dead, thou shalt be what? Mm -hmm. Thou shalt be saved. He said, he said but yeah, but now, I, I, how can I truly believe that? I said, well, unless you do, you, you're bound for hell. Mm -hmm. I, he said, oh, that's harsh. <laughs> that's I said, that's the word. Amen. That's the reality. Amen. God wants us to come to the understand who Christ is. Because to know Christ is to know that we have peace with God. Because our love for him. You're not going to want to know him just to say I know him. You want to come to know him and love him. Oh God. Woo. I feel this thing today, y'all. <laughs> Amen. Why? Why do you want to know him? Why do you want to love him? Because he loved you before you was able to acknowledge who he was. While you were yet in sin, he died for you. That's how much he loved you. That's how much he loved you. He laid down his life for you. And, and I was talking to this young man, I was telling him about this, he said, he said, but how can I believe that? And I said, Lord in mercy. <laughs> I said, Lord in mercy. <laughs> and, 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 so I, and so I said, well, uh, God loves you whether you know it or not, but it's up to you to choose the right direction. Mm -hmm. You know the way. Walk in it. Amen. I want to share y'all, I want to just tell y'all this, because you see, when we come to understand the revelation of Christ, you'll see that he is alive. Not just in the word, but he's alive in you. Remember what John chapter 1 verse number 14 says and the word which is Jesus Christ he is the living word am I right yes. and the word became what flesh. flesh the word became flesh that means that as you read the word and the word began to minister to you the word is coming alive on the inside of you that word is coming alive on the inside of you it's the nature and the, and the very character of, of who Christ is that's why we got to understand. Uh, he's, Peter, he asked the disciples, but who do men say that I am? And none of them could answer. But then Peter got a download from heaven. And his whole concept about Jesus changed. Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. And all of a sudden, Jesus just perked up. I said, oh, and he said, oh, Simon, Mr. Peter, son of Simon, by Jonah, flesh and blood did not reveal this unto you, but my Father which is in heaven. And I say unto you that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church. Upon this revelation that you have received, Upon this word that you received in your heart and spoke out of your mouth, I will build. He didn't say, you're going to build your church, Peter. He said, I will build my church. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Why? Because you know my name. You have a revelation of who I am. Just as the devil could not have conquered me when I was in the earth, he will not conquer you as you abide in me and I abide in you. 
and the works that I do shall you do also, and greater works than shall you do because I go to my Father. For this purpose, the Son of God will manifest. Hallelujah. 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 God has given us the answer to who we are in him. And that answer uh, is, 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 is connected to the word. As you abide in me and I abide in you. Amen. But notice what it says right here. Notice what it says. We're still in the book of Matthew. Notice what it says right in the book of Matthew. Uh, verse number verse number, uh, verse number, 17 once again. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Blessed art thou, Simon by Jonah, for flesh and blood hath not revealed it unto thee, but my Father which is in heaven. And I say also unto thee, that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. The enemy of your soul will not be able to overcome you unless you give in to him. Because he's very cunning, he's very deceiving. But as long as you stay connected to the word, and when the enemy comes against you, even against your health, like like the other, like night before last, I I felt a little pain under my chin, and I looked and I rubbed it. There was a little knot developed there, and I said, "In the name of Jesus, I laid my hand on it. I said, "In the name of Jesus." Devil, you're not going to put no kind of sickness or infection on me. I rebuke it right now in the name of Jesus. I command it to go. I command it to go. I command it to go now in the name of Jesus. You see, whenever a symptom of sickness or disease begin to come upon your body, you don't sit there and say, oh, look what I got. Let me go, tell, let me go, let me go see what it is. No, when you know there's something going on in your health, you come against it right there on the spot. Why? Because God has given you authority and power over what happened to this body. Y'all understand what I just said? Yes. God has given you power and authority over what happens to this body. You can go along with what's going on in your body or you can, you can go against what's going on in your body. To go along with it, you can say, go back, hey, you know, I got this pain right here, you know what? And it just really bothered me. And then I I, I, I tell you, I'm going to go to the doctor and I'm going to see what it is. And then the doctor said, oh, it looks like you got a, 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 a thyroid cancer. It looks like you got a, 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 a tumor. And see, and all of a sudden, those words that come out of that doctor's mouth begin to register in your mind, then you're going to rehearse it, you're going to talk about it, then you're going to register in your spirit. Now you have given life to what was spoken because you agreed with it. If any two shall agree as touching anything that shall act of a father, it shall be done. When you come in agreement with someone, you better make sure you come in agreement with the word of God. Because if you're not coming in agreement with the word of God, you're coming in agreement with the enemy of God. And that's why it's so important we understand the power that's connected to this name. The Bible tells us in the book of Luke chapter, no, it's the book of Mark chapter 16 and verse number 17, he said, And these signs shall follow them that believe in my name. Shall they what? Cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. They shall take up serpents. And if they drink any other thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall do what? Lay what? Hands on who? On the sick. And they shall do what? And they shall recover. Amen. See, that comes with the knowledge of knowing the name of Jesus Christ. When I first got married, my wife used to have migraine headaches. She used to lay down on the couch and she used to cry and, and holler. I said, well, rebuke that thing. She said, she said, I don't know how. I don't know how to do so much, man. Oh, God, help me. Help me, Jesus. Start begging. I said, God, you don't beg, God. You don't beg him. You just speak. And uh, she went, 
and uh, <laughs> I, I, I just got mad at her. I just got upset with that devil. I just wanted to put my hand on her head. I, I, I screamed. I said, get off her, devil, in the, Jesus, in the name of Jesus. She jumped. <laughs> she jumped. And I said, I said, where's the headache? She said, it's gone. <laughs> Amen. See, 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 God has given you power in the name of Jesus Christ. That's why, that's why it's so that's why Jesus asked the disciples, who can you say that I am? Because if you understand who I am, then you have the authority, you have the power that I walk in in this earth. Behold, I give unto you power to tread over serpents and over struggle and over all the powers of the enemy, and nothing shall my enemies hurt you. Because he said the gates of hell shall not prevail against the church. You are the church, not the building. You are the church. So you can speak to that corona. You can speak to that disease. You can speak to that virus. You can say, in the name of Jesus, get down behind me, Satan. You have not been sent by God, and I don't receive you. You don't have to accept what you don't have to accept that stuff. Even though it might be real and it might not be real. I don't know. But I know a lot of people been dying. A lot of people died. And they said it was corona. <laughs> they might have just labeled them. I don't know. But the thing about it, folks, is that you are in a different world. Even though you're walking in this earth every day, if you really examine your heart. And you can see yourself. You know what I was up here saying in the song? I left this earth realm. <laughs> and I'm just, I'm just with my eyes closed. I'm focused on heaven. I'm focused on heaven. Oh, and I felt his presence. Oh, glory to God. You see, I connected to the one that I'm talking about right now. God wants you to connect with him through Jesus Christ. How do you connect with him through Jesus Christ? The Bible says again in Romans chapter 10, verse number 10. What it says? If thou shalt believe in thy heart that God raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart men believe it unto righteousness. And with the mouth confession is made. What? How's, how's confession is made? With the mouth. With, with the, the mouth. mouth. With the mouth confession is made. With the mouth confession is made. You see, you're going to have what you say. That's how you come to know Christ. That's how, come, that's how you accept Christ in your heart. By words. You don't walk up to and just shake the preacher and say, Okay. You walk away from that pastor, that preacher, whoever he is, just like you walked up there. You're going to walk away the same way you walked up there. But if you open up your mouth and say, I believe that Jesus is the Son of God, and I believe he died for my sin. I believe that on that third day, when he died, he rose again. After he died, he rose again on that third day. And I believe that today he's risen in my heart. Oh, glory to God. And I believe that I've been transformed from darkness to light. Hallelujah. A transformation took place at the moment you believed it and confessed it. Getting to know him will bring you to a place of where you can understand that you are not alone. Hallelujah. What does it mean that God is the rock? Oh my God. In, the, in, in, in most Old Testament reference, God is not just described as a rock, but the rock, the rock. Amen. The rock. Amen. And uh, the Israelites understood that God was not just one source of strength and protection. He was the only strength and protection. Okay. 
their, 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 their only hope and their only refuge was in God. And that's why it's so important we understand what Jesus is trying to impart to us today. Who do men say that I am? With that revelation, you will obtain strength. You will obtain authority. You will obtain wisdom and knowledge. To speak to whatever situation that occurred around you or even in your family. You may not see the change right then, and you might. Depends on how you believe it. But you can speak to that situation. And you can walk on by your business. Remember, Jesus was on the way to Jerusalem, and he saw a fig tree of four all, had believed he came to it, and happened to not find anything thereof. But when he got to it, he found there was nothing to believe. And Jesus spoke to the tree and said, No man shall eat fruit of thee hereafter forever. And his disciples heard it, and he walked on by his business. And all the way back the very next day, they come back by that tree, and Peter looked at the tree, he saw the tree, and he said, Master, behold the fig tree which thou cursed, it withered away. And Jesus said, Verse number 23. You think that's some, huh? Verse number 22 said, have faith in God. Who is he talking to? He's talking to those that will follow him. He said, have faith in God. Because if you have faith in God, you not only can say to the tree, but you can say to the mountain, be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea. And share if you don't doubt in your heart, but believe that no thing what you say, you can have it. It shall be. That's why to understand the power of that goes with the name of Christ is so important to you as a child of God. You're going deeper into these last days. There are signs occurring all over the place. Their destruction is happening all around us. Remember that song? It's gonna rain. It's gonna rain. You better get ready and bear this in mind. God showed no, show him the rainbow sign. He said it won't be water, but fire next time. How, what are we having right here right now? Fire. A lot of fire, huh? Fire. A lot of fire. God is establishing an ark right now. I'm just like I'm just like Jonah to you today. This whole year. I'm just like Jonah. Jonah was told to go to Nineveh and to tell Nineveh to repent. And Jonah, he got on a ship going toward Tarshish because he didn't want to go. Because he knew if he de if he had declared what God told him to do, they were going to do it, right. and he didn't want them to do it. He wanted to see them burn. Okay. <laughs> so Jonah got in the ship and okay. headed the other direction, yeah, he did. and then a tempest came into the sea. Jonah landed down the bottom of the ship asleep, and everybody else up there drawing slot trying to see who who who, who the cause of this. And they go down at the bottom, wake up, wake up, wake up. And he, tell them. And he said, he said, uh, what, who, who are you, where are you from? Are you the cause of this? I'm running from God. He said. <laughs> he said, toss me over. He said, that's right. He said, toss me over and uh, everything will be, everything be okay with you guys. You'll be at peace. And they, and they cast him over. And a big fish came and swallowed him live. Didn't eat him, swallowed him live. And in the middle, in the, in the pit of the belly of the fish, midst of the belly of the fish, he began to pray. And God spoke to him. God 
wants to speak to you today. He's speaking. Are you hearing what he's saying? If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and seek my face and pray and turn from their wicked ways, then when I hear from heaven, I will forgive their sins and I will heal their land. God is calling us to himself. But you can't come apart from the name. The name has to reside in your heart. You have to acknowledge, God, I made so many mistakes, and God, I tell you, I, I, I know that, that uh, you're not pleased with what I've done, but I know that you still love me, so I repent of my sin. I repent of my transgressions. I repent of anger. I repent of resentment. I repent of whatever it is, God, that, that called you to be grieved concerning my life. I repent of it right now. Now, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, that name began to take its course again in your life, directing you every step. His word become a lamp to your feet and a light to your path. And now you become the voice, like John the Baptist, of one crying in the wilderness. Everywhere you go, you're sharing what God has done for you and you see someone in pain instead of instead of you uh, running from that person you, you've been drawn to that person and God's going to use you because you understand what it is to be separated from your father to be separated from that name and God sees that your heart It's full of remorse and godly sorrow. And I just said I'm sorry, but a godly sorrow. And when you come back to him, you come back to him not saying, Lord, forgive me, but you come back to him with a change of heart. And with that change of heart, the life and the nature of God become a living reality within you. And with that, you become his voice to the hurting people. That's why it's so important that we understand what Peter understood. He said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus replied, flesh and blood did not reveal it unto you, Peter, but my Father which is in heaven. And I say unto you, upon this rock, I will build my church. And y'all get anything out of this today? God is speaking to us. Are we listening? God often communicate using Stories and metaphors as a way of explaining spiritual truth. He often used that to explain spiritual truth. Amen. And his love for humanity is, is in his word. And as we can see and understand what God is saying, his word become alive in us. Amen. His work comes alive in us. For example, Jesus instructed his followers to be what? The salt and light of the world. Matthew chapter 5, verse number 13. You want to look at that? Matthew 5, verse 13. Let's look at it. You need, you need to see this. Amen. Verse number 13 says, Ye are the light of the world. Ye are the light. Ye are the salt of the earth. But if the salt has lost its savior, where will shall it be salted? You see, you can't lose your identity. You can't lose the identity of who you are in Christ because you become as nothing. You'll be fit for nothing. Amen? Mm -hmm. Matthew 
Amen. Verse number 13 again. You are, the, you are the salt of the earth. But if the salt has lost, but if the salt has lost his what? His savior, where will shall it be salted? It is then for good for nothing. But to be trotted, but to be but to be what? Cast out and trodden under the foot of men. I like verse number 14. Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Neither can a man light a candle and put it under a bush, in a bush, but on a what? On a candlestick. And it do what? It give it light. It give it light unto all that is in the house. That's what God wants you to be. He wants you to be the expression of who he is. He wants you to be the source that the world is looking for. He wants you to be the light that's shining in the darkness that the world cannot comprehend. So they draw, they'll draw to it because they can't come in. They won't know what it's all about. So they come to see. They come to see. See, you have an obligation, not just, not just say, well, I'm born again, I went to church today. No, you have an obligation to go way beyond farther than that. God said to go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature, and he that believeth shall be baptized, and he that believeth not shall be damned, and these signs shall follow them that believe in my name, shall they cast out devils. See, there are people that wait on you to come knowing that the greater one lives in you, and when they come into your presence, they're going to begin to tremble because your life is not a life of this world. Your life has been separated by God, separated from the world. You are walking as a clean, you're walking as a pure, you're walking as a holy person. Now God's spirit dwells in you. The anointed rests upon you that when you open up your mouth and declare what God has said, the word brings it to pass. See, we're more than just a man or a woman. We are children of the Most High God. That's why it's so important that we understand what Peter understood. And it must come to us by revelation. Not because we heard somebody else say it, but because God has spoken to us. Thou art the Christ. The son of the living God. Once we get this revelation knowledge of who Christ is, then we go on to the next subject. But you're struggling too much in your life for me to leave you right there. I got to get this in your spirit. That's why I'm preaching it every Sunday. For 2021. It's got to be in your spirit. For 2000, well, 2022. You're going to need what I'm sharing with you today. You're going to need this. You may not think it right now. You may not even see it right now. But you're going to need this. More so than you do right now. You're going to need it. God's not a man that he should lie. Nor a son of man, he should repent. Mm -hmm. What God has spoken to you is about to begin to come to pass. You have received words from God. You have received vision from God. God has showed you things. And now you begin to understand that it's time to bring it on here. for this stuff to start manifesting in your life. Mm -hmm. In your life. And some of you, you're going to see it Manifesting in your children's life and in your grandchildren's life in your in your spouse's life because God has spoken to them too the word of God will not return void it will not fall to the ground until it will come to what God said God don't lie Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to his name.
glory. I'm not over time, am I? Not quite. No. <laughs> not quite. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to keep y'all beyond y'all ability to stay. <laughs> Amen. Amen. But I want you to. But you got. You got to understand that. But you got to understand. God want. See, when the enemy will come against your mind, he trying to steal the word. He trying to steal. He trying to steal from your heart who Christ is. Go with me to Second Corinthians chapter ten. The nuggets. <laughs> 2 Corinthians 10. Because you see, notice what the word of God says. We're going to read down. We're going to read starting verse number one. Notice the word of God said. Now I, Paul, myself, beseech you by the meekness and gentleness of Christ, who is what? Present and based among you. But being absent, I'm what? Bold toward you. But I beseech you that I may not be bold when I am present with that confidence. Wherewith I think to be bold against. Some which think of us as if we walk according to the flesh. Look at verse number three, very important. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. And this is why it's, this, this, this is the word that God gave me at the beginning. He said, casting down, verse number five, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Of Christ. Amen. And I like verse that. Verse number six, I wasn't going to read, but God, he, he just put it in my spirit. And having in a what? A readiness to avenge, to revenge all disobedience when your obedience is what? Fulfilled. fulfilled. When your obedience is fulfilled. When you walk and when you accomplish, when you fulfill what God has placed in your heart, now you have the ability to bring that same peace to someone else. That's why the name Jesus Christ or Christ Jesus is so important to you. The name, through faith in that name, you have power over the power of the enemy. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Y'all understand what I'm saying? Amen. Your mind is the battleground where the enemy rages his wars to stop you or to, or to hinder you from, under, from receiving the revelation of the name of Christ. And, and, he, and he, war, he war against so many that they, some of them uh, gave up and went committed suicide because they thought they were losing their mind. And it was the enemy coming against their mind to, to interfere with them from uh, to stop them from, from receiving a revelation of who Christ is. And a lot of them went and committed suicide. And they went, uh, oh my God, he, they just didn't know how to lost it. take it. You, on the other hand, have made it thus far. God is, God is about to do something in your life so strong, so powerful, that going to, oh, go shit till I my kind. If you do not dishonor me, said the Lord, I will esteem you highly, and I will bring you to a place in me that you never walked before. And yes, I will give you 
everything that I have said, did I not say unto you that I will give you the keys to the kingdom? And so shall it be. Walk upright before me. Do not allow fear to torment your hearts and your minds. Don't turn away from that which I have placed before you. That which I have spoken to your heart. Don't look to the left nor to the right. Stay focused. For if you will stay focused, you will see that I am the Lord and I change not. My word shall not be altered that have gone forth out of my mouth. It will surely come to pass. You stand still and you will see the salvation of the Lord. Mm. Oh, yeah. And I hear the Lord say, even you who have been afflicted in your bodies, you have taken your eyes off of me. You have begun to look at the circumstances. You have begun to acknowledge the circumstances. You have begun to pay more attention to what's going on around you and in you. And step, and, 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 but you have not kept your eyes on me. I am your deliverer. I am your healer. I am your financier. I am your every everything that you need. Then I not say that I will supply all you need according to my, his riches and glory by Christ Jesus, that my word will not be altered. Hold fast to what I have spoken. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. I see children. I see children. I see children. And I'm and they don't have no age. No age. But I see children of God. A Peter pattern. They they don't under, they, they, they 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 don't understand. They hear, but they don't hear. They hear, but they don't hear. And they they're not able to make a quality decision. And I hear the Lord said, return to me, and I will return to you. Strengthen your hands. Purify your hearts. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And repent of your sin. And I will receive you, said the Lord. Mm. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Children being caught up. And I'm not, when God, when God saying children, he's not talking about babies. He's talking about Adults, they are his children too. And he said they've been caught up. And God has given us the word of reconciliation. He's given us the commission. That's why to know the name of Christ, the power that backs that name is so important. Because Generations that come behind us, they need to understand the power of the name of Jesus Christ. It's not just a name that we use. It's not just a word that we say. There's power in the name, in the name of Jesus. And I like that song. Wonder -working. There is power, power, wonder working power. Hallelujah. My God, my God. I'm going to have to stop now. Yeah, Jesus. <laughs> Are y'all feeling what I'm feeling in this place today? Yeah. Oh, I tell you, God. God is in here today. He's in here today. 
Confusion is going right now in Jesus' name. Go, Jesus' name. Father, for your word to have gone forth today in this place. Father, you will accomplish what you've spoken because you said your word will not fall to the ground. You will bring us into remembrance, Lord, of what you've spoken to our hearts even today. You will bring it to our remembrance. And God, we thank you. We thank you for it. Your word is alive and healthy and healing to all our flesh. God, we thank you that your word will accomplish that what you, what you sent it out to do. God, we will not allow the name to be void in our lives and in our hearts. We will, we will, we will study this name. We will, re, we will get the revelation of this name. We will allow this name to become, oh God, a, a part of us. Not just in us, but a part of us. That when we walk in the world, we'll not walk as mere men and women, God, but we'll walk as children of the Most High God. Oh, yes. And, by, and, and that name, through faith in this name, we will see the manifestation of the kingdom of God among us and around us. And your word, your word, will accomplish that which you sent it out to accomplish. And the people will experience a great light that has risen up in our midst because we are the light of the world. We are the city that sit up on a hill we are the light that set upon the candlestick, which cannot be hid. And our light shall give light to all that is in the room. And we thank you for it now in advance. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You want to sow a seed today, you can go to my website. Over Those of you that's online, you want to go to my website. That's LarryBurkinMinistries.com. That's LarryBurkinMinistries.com. You want to sow a seed, go there and plant the seed in faith. Release your faith when you plant the seed. Amen. Release your faith when you plant the seed. Name that seed. Say, God, I'm planting this seed, but God, I need this in my life. I need this in my body. I need this in my family. I need my children to be free. When you plant that seed, name that seed. Name that seed. Put that seed on a mission. And then stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. I believe that God wants to do exactly what he said he'll do. Oh, 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 oh glory to God. Jonathan Brown, Daddy Sunshine. Sandy Kipo, all you guys, God love you. God love you all. Latrice Walker, God pray, God bless you. Amen. Willow Dean Nash, God love you, God bless you. Hallelujah. 
Glory to God. Olga Perkins, God bless you. <laughs> well, glory. Amen. So you're going to sow a seed today. Go to my website, ladbergenministries.com. Amen. Use your ATM card, credit card. Amen. And uh, name that seed. Name that seed. Amen. Then, after you plant that seed, let's come in agreement together. Because you're coming in connection with this ministry. It's not an accident. You sow a seed into this ministry. It's not an accident. Because this ministry is established on the word of God. And this ministry is fertile ground. It's all right. It's all right. Father, I pray for those that are sowing their seeds today, whether they be here in the building or whether it be by the internet. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, those that are sowing their seed, Lord, let the agreement come together now. Let us agree together. You said, if any two shall agree as touch anything that, shall be, that we shall ask about Father, it shall be done. So, Father, I come in agreement with those that support this ministry with their finances and with their prayers. I come in agreement with them, Father, in the name of Jesus, as they have named that seed. I declare and decree by the power and the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ that as let your kingdom come and your will be done in their lives in earth as it is in heaven. May there be a manifestation of your glory and your strength on their behalf. Because they aren't you, Father, I ask that you honor them. I give you all the praise and glory in advance, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Go ahead and sow your seed. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to God. I agree. I agree. Every need is met. I agree situations turn around in your health. I agree your children coming to know the Lord. I agree salvation to your home, to your household. I agree financial problems disappearing. I agree money coming into your household from different directions, from sources that you wasn't expecting it from. I agree for miracle deliverance from them that are walking with a depression, under depression. I agree that cancer is being destroyed now in your body. I agree that you're walking in divine health and healing. I agree that you are born again of the spirit of the living God. And that your life is not your own. That you've been bought with a price. I agree that if you would turn a complete turn, your whole life is going to turn with you right into the presence of God. Father, I thank you I bless your people. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. If you're here today, you never made Jesus Christ the Lord of your life. If you never made Jesus Christ the Lord of your life, maybe you have made him the Lord of your life, but you backslid, you, 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 you are turned away, and now you're saying, Father, I want to rededicate my life to you. I've made mistakes in my life. I, I've done things that I'm not pleased with. I did things that I don't even want to talk about. I'm embarrassed by some of the things I've done. And God, I know that you know, there's nothing 
did by secret. You see everything. You 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 know everything. Everything is written down in the in the Lamb Book of Life. And God, you know my downfall, my shortcomings. You know everything about me, Lord. And so, Father, in the name of Jesus, I want to rededicate my life to you. Or you might say, Well, Father, I want to give my I want to, I want to acknowledge Jesus Christ today as my Lord and Savior. Or I want to rededicate my life to you, Father, in the name of Jesus. I'm talking to somebody that want to rededicate their life. I'm talking to somebody that have never acknowledged Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. Right now, it is your opportunity. This is your chance. This is the best day for the rest of your life. This is your day for your miracle, your breakthrough in Christ Jesus. Say this prayer with me right now. Say it from your heart. Don't say it because I'm asking you to. You say it because you want to rededicate your life or that you want to give your heart to the Lord Jesus for the very first time. God is listening He's not listening to our words. He's looking at our hearts. He's looking at our hearts. And when your heart is sincere with God, what comes from your heart is going to touch his heart. And once it touches his heart, things are going to turn. Things are going to happen for you. Say it with me. Say, Lord Jesus, I repent of my sin. Forgive me, Lord. Jesus, I believe that you are the Son of God. And I believe you died for my sin. Because I believe this, and confess with my mouth, I am saved. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. Amen. If you say that simple prayer, you are born again. You are saved. God is showing up right now in your life. The angels in heaven are rejoicing, and God is moving situations around right now in your life because you rededicated your life or you just gave your heart to him for the first time. God knows exactly where you are and he knows exactly how to set you free from every demonic influence. Father, I thank you for what you're doing in the lives of your people. Let them have that life-changing experience. Let them have a life-changing experience. Let it begin now. I thank you for it in Jesus' name. And I give you all the praise and all the glory for it. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Now, for those that are here today, you, need, you want me to pray for you, I will pray for you right now. You ain't wasting no time. You're waiting on that. <laughs> yeah, that's what I came for. Is that what you come for? What is it? Okay. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for my dear sister, Lord God. I break every demonic assignment that will work against her heart and her mind. I come against it right now in the name of Jesus. There'll be no depression. There'll be no interfering with her heart. There'll be no interfering with her will. There'll be no interfering with her mind and her emotions in the name of Jesus. I cast I cast it down. I break it. I cancel it in the spiritual realm right now in the name of Jesus. And I declare, Father, I declare, Father, that she walked in the light, that she walked in the light of your word, that she walked in the truth of your word. And, Father, I declare in the name of Jesus that she's walking in divine health and healing. And Father, I release that upon her now. And I declare and decree, Father, her children are protected. Her children are protected. I loose angels right now to go to work, to go to work on her children's behalf right now in the name of Jesus. I declare peace, be still in Jesus' mighty name. And I give you the glory. Father, she only hear what the Spirit of God is saying. And as she hear, she'll obey you. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen and amen. 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 Anybody else? Want me to pray? Come on, come on. Y'all want to buy one together? Or you want to rent one together? You want to buy it? <clears throat> Father, in the name of Jesus, I'm asking you, Father, to be able to, to, for divine wisdom, understanding, discernment, in the name of Jesus, 
Let her discern the situation. Let her discern the meaning, the, 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 the motives. In the name of Jesus. God, I thank you right now in Jesus' name. Open her, her eyes and let her see beyond the natural. In the name of Jesus. Oh, rese mandara basondre ikarasakaya. In the name of Jesus, Sata, Mondorosoko. And Father, let every decision that she make be according to your purpose, according to your plan, and according to your will. In the name of Jesus. Everything that's not a part of your will, purpose, and plan for her life, Father, let it fall by the wayside. Let it fall by the wayside. I thank you. I bless my dear sister. Let your word direct her steps now, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, peace, be still. Peace, be still. In Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Yes. It's good. Now walk by faith. In other words, by the Spirit. Not by the flesh. Okay? The flesh will have you doing everything. But the spirit will quicken you when things are not right. Always acknowledge the spirit of God. And you have a check in your spirit when things are not right. You'll know. Amen. You'll know. Okay? Mm. Come on, sister. I speak to the bladder. I speak to this bladder. Now, Father, let your healing manifest now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let it begin now. Healing, let it begin now. I speak to the bladder. Be healed. Be restored. Be whole. In Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And Father, I pray for her daughter. I plead the blood of Jesus over her from the crown of her head to the soles of her feet. We come against this COVID. We come against the lung, the, the attack on her lungs. We come against the attack on her on her on her on her. On her on her nasal system, yes. on her family, in the name of Jesus, we declare, yes, angels go to work right now yes, and minister to their yes. family, to this family yes, with healing and deliverance so in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Glory to God. Giving you glory Lord to God. In your name's sake, God. Glory to God. Yes, God. Jesus. 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 Put your hand on your pain for the pain. Father, right now, in the name of Jesus. Olga, oh, come here, please. Hurry. I want you to put your hand on, lay your hand on her. Yeah. Release the anointing. The healing of her bladder. No more. No more. Has to go. No more malfunctions. And has to no go. more malfunctions. In the name of Jesus. Mm. 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 Mm.
Now yeah, receive it, sister. Receive, receive it now. It. I receive it. That's it. That's it. I receive it. I receive it. I receive it. You agree and you receive it. Yes. Yes. There it is. In Jesus' name. Thank you. Thank you. Jesus' name. God bless you. Ha <laughs> ha. No, <Yeah>, yes. <laughs> thank you so much. Oh, thank God. Thank God. Love you guys. Amen. Love you too. See you next Sunday. Is this your baby? She's Father, beautiful. in the name of Jesus, I pray for my brother. See you guys later. Okay. Bye. I pray. Nice God bless you. Bye, you guys. I Bye. pray for my brother, Lord. I lift him up before you. I declare the truth divine health and healing from the crown of his head to the sole of his feet. I agree with your word. I agree with your word. Shh. There it is. Receive it. It's in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Father, I pray with those that are with us by the internet, I release my faith on their behalf. Yes. I declare and I decree, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, divine health and healing. I curse cancer. I curse cancer. I curse lung disease. I curse diabetes. I curse heart problems. I curse it right now in the name of Jesus. Tumors. I curse right now in the name of Jesus. Every demonic influence in the name of Jesus. And I release the anointing of God to lift burdens and destroy yokes. Receive right now in Jesus' name. God bless you. We love you. Join us tonight. We have a powerful word tonight just for you. We love you. God bless. Bye-bye. Oh, yes. Hmm.